to Peggy in Pennsylvania. Peggy, you're on the air. Uh, Alex, uh, sometimes, uh, lately I'm beginning to think that this show is just another disinformation show, and I'll tell you why. It's much ado about nothing. Uh, Ron Paul came along, and he seemed to be the perfect candidate for the typical American, uh, intelligent as well as just a normal type of guy. But all of a sudden he steps down with no, and it was a surprise to all of us. Mr. Tarpley. Yeah, and hold on, hold on, ma'am. You made a quite a cha a quite a claim here. Ron Paul lost, and, and and you asked. We all asked him to run, so we can't be mad at him for not quote winning. But he did win tens of millions of hearts and minds, and people did find out about the New World Order, and the North American Union, and the Trans Texas Corridor that's in trouble now. And I mean, that's just an amazing. St we have all different types of guests and ideas here, and, and this is a place for you to think, a place for you to find information and check what we say. I mean, that's a. I'm doing the best I can. I'm working. 18 hours a day here. Alex, he lost because of the corruption in the governments. I, I'm not going to mention any particular... So how are we bad right now? I want to hear it from you. All right, I'll tell you. I saw the takeover of Ohio from my own perspective, and I know who did it. I won't mention any names or anything like that. But there is a force behind this that is being that is not being mentioned. And Mr. Tarpley, for instance, claims that he wants um, Hillary as a substitute because she's easier. Well, wait a minute, ma'am. Ma let me ask you a question, Peggy. Yeah. Did, did we screen your phone call? Uh, yeah. He knew it was me, if that's what you're asking. Pardon me? The guy that answered me knows my voice, and he knew it was me. Let's bring John in here right now. Ma'am, we don't screen phone calls unless people... Alex, please don't do this. Are you a schizophrenic? Let me no, guess. I bet you think the world revolves around you, and we all know who you are. Ma'am, I don't know you from Adam. Alex, shame on you. Shame on your life. Are Alex. you a schizophrenic? I never thought that you would You do are a schizophrenic, aren't you? you nutcase. How dare you, Alex? All right, let her go. Bring John Harmon in here. You know, I'm tired of these schizophrenics on the Internet. I'm Um, I did recognize her voice because she calls in every day, but that doesn't mean we screen calls. We put her on air. I don't know who she is. Okay. Okay, well, that's a rarity because I don't recognize her as a routine call that you did know who she was. Man, we put you on air for her to then accuse us of being bad. And it's just a diversion. The dollar's imploding, everything's falling apart, and, and a bunch of people out there can't stay focused on real issues. Webster, Alex, we have one. We have uh, we have schizophrenia, of course, but then we have the most dangerous form of schizophrenia is megalomania. You know, this is a show, a platform for you, the listeners, and our guest. And I take a call, and it's it's. You know, we know who she is. I don't. I don't know who you are, ma'am. And and that you're saying that we won't say who really runs things, but then you won't. You could have said whatever you wanted here, but you chose to do that, and that's part of the meltdown of our society. You could have said whatever you wanted here, but you chose to do that, and that's part of the meltdown of our society. Yeah, my my, my whole issue is is that is that you know this is a show, a platform for you, the listeners, and our guest. And I take a call, and it's it's. You know, we know who she is. I don't. I don't know who you are, ma'am. And and that you're saying that we won't say who really runs things, but then you won't. You could have said whatever you wanted here, but you chose to do that, and that's part of the meltdown of our society. Let's talk to Lynn in Toronto. Lynn, but you chose to do that, and that's part of the meltdown of our society. Let's talk to Lynn in Toronto.